What's up, insiders? We're back with our weekly news flash because if it's Tuesday, it's Newsday. Let's get into it. First up, we're experimenting with a new way to explore topics and recommendations in comments. Currently, if a viewer wants to learn more about a topic or product they find in a comment, they have to navigate away from the video they're watching to learn more. We're experimenting with new hyperlinked keywords in comments to reduce friction for viewers looking to discover new and relevant content on the platform. So how does it work? Phrases or single words in comments that encourage exploration will be hyperlinked. Now, clicking on a link will initiate a new YouTube search with that term, navigating users to the search results page. Now, to avoid interruption, the video will stay playing in the mini player. Linked keywords are determined by YouTube based on what users are likely to want to explore further. The links cannot be added or modified by the commenter, though creators can remove links on their video comments if they'd like. Viewers will be able to opt out of the experiment if they prefer their comments not to be hyperlinked. We'll be experimenting with this in the coming weeks, but would love your feedback in the comments, whether you're in the experiment or not. Next, up until now, although creators could create posts on tablets, those posts were not visible on tablets to creators and their viewers. We know this has been a top feature request from many creators and viewers. So we're excited to announce that we're rolling out visibility to all users on Android tablets and iPads. Creators, this means your posts can now reach viewers who mainly use YouTube on tablets. Next up, currently viewers on YouTube are able to set reminders for upcoming live streams or premieres by clicking the notify me button in order to get email and push notifications for when that live stream or premiere starts. We're adding a metric in YouTube analytics that will show creators how many reminders were set for an upcoming live stream or premiere. You can find the reminders set metric in YouTube analytics deep dive. Next up, a few recent launches for channel memberships. First, eligible creators are now able to set up and manage channel memberships and other fan funding offerings via Studio Mobile. Previously, this was only available via Studio Desktop. Additionally, members-only videos were not surfaced on members' home feeds, subscription feeds, or channel page content tabs. Now, members-only videos will surface on members' home and subscription feeds and on your channel page. As we previously mentioned, we're also starting to experiment with surfacing members-only content previews on home for viewers with high affinity to your channel. We have more channel memberships updates coming soon, so stay tuned. Finally, our last weekly reminder to accept the new YPP program terms in studio if you're currently in YPP and haven't already done so. If you do not accept by July 10th, 2023, you will be removed from the YouTube Partner Program and your content will no longer be eligible to monetize on the platform. Any previously monetized content will stop accruing revenue effective July 11th, 2023, and all monetization features, including but not limited to channel memberships, Super Chat, and similar features, will be turned off. To see if you've already accepted or still need to take action, go to Studio, then Settings, then Agreements. Here, if you see View Agreement for the base terms you've previously accepted and you're all set. If you see Review and Agree, you still need to accept. And that's it for this week. From the creators of YouTube to YouTube creators, we'll see you next week.